Did you know that you can use ChatGPT and its Canva plugin to create any design you want with one simple text prompt? Now Canva, as you may already know, is a top-notch design platform that you can use to create marketing materials and graphics for your business. But now, with this plugin integration, you can bring Canva right into ChatGPT. Now, let me show you how it works. So now I'm in ChatGPT and all you have to do is click on the upgrade plan button. Now I'm on free plan, but you want to have the plus plan so you have access to all the plugins. So let's do this now. And it will take you to this pay page where you can uh, confirm the subscription. And once your payment goes through, you can see now in the drop down menu that ChatGPT 4 becomes available. We'll click that and go to settings and beta. Go to beta features and make sure the plugins uh, option is activated. Okay. Now click GPT 4 again and click on plugins. Go to plugin store and look for Canva. Okay, now click install. And now the plugin is activated. So now let's say you want to create some social media posts for Valentine's Day. And we can use the prompt like this. Use the Canva plugin to create a social media post for my Instagram, for my Valentine's Day promotion, for my fashion brand. So you can really customize this um, to like suit your situation, right? So let's hit that and we'll see what it generates. And essentially what it does is that it will take your prompt and go to Canva to pull out all the design um, you know, templates that it thinks suit your, your needs. So this looks quite good, right? And now what's even more interesting is that you can customize these designs. So let's say we really like the first design and you can click that and it will take you into your Canva account. And now you can just do whatever you want. You can type in your brand name. You can change the message here. You can change the background. Um, so yeah, essentially this is very a handy tool for you to create any designs. But what if you don't want any social media posts, but you're looking for creating some logos for your new brand. So we can also do that by using a simple prompt like this. Use a Canva plugin to create a logo for my new eco-friendly skincare brand. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, it starts to generate some results for my eco-friendly brand, right? Okay, so yeah, I already love the first one. It looks very minimalistic and very like natural looking. And the second one also looks quite good. It's more like a feminine touch. And oh, this one is so cute. Like I can definitely see that as like a really, um, you know, like a cute brand. And yeah, basically all of these, um, are really good suggestions and I imagine if you don't like any of these you can always just regenerate like different you know, trying different prompts and then try it and it doesn't stop here you can also use uh, Canva to create some videos for your brand so we can use uh, a simple prompt like this use the Canva plugin to create an Instagram reel for my new makeup tutorial so let's see how it goes And now it has some uh, makeup tutorial templates that you can use. Although um, some of the templates are not really related. So I think it also depends on if uh, within Canva you already have these elements, right? But at least there's one that I can use. So let's have a look. Let's play that. Right, so this is like a little template that you can basically just use your own um, footage. I think this works. Like, of course, if you don't like the color, you can always change it to something else. You know, like if you like more pink or 
you want to change this to like a other you know titles you can always do that but yeah it shows that it can create videos in a very short amount of time and what if you don't just want to create a reel but you want to create an entire like a short video so let's try this prompt use the canva plugin to create a short promotion uh, video for my new book launch let's see what it gets Okay, so we have this motivational quotes uh, video that doesn't look quite, um, you know, suitable for the book launch. The second one, maybe, but it really depends on how you design it. Like uh, it says new launch, but you need the uh, book elements here. Uh, this one could do if you use like your book cover here, you know, some graphics. So let's click on this one. And let's play it. Yeah, this can be like a short, like a book trailer for your book. So you need to gather, of course, your own elements. But then you have already a template that's like a little trailer. So that worked. So let's try another one. What about a YouTube thumbnail? Like it can be quite time consuming to like look for thumbnail templates on Canva. So let's try with the Canva plugin in ChatGPT. I asked it to create a thumbnail for my Paris vlog. Now we're gonna see the templates. Oh, so already the first one looks quite good. This is very cute. I like that it will bring in like different styles for you to choose from. Yeah, this one is also very chic. I would say that for now, um, the images perform still better than a uh, video on Canva because there are just so many elements you have to like consider in a video. But like I can easily just imagine myself taking, let's say, this template here and then customize with my own um, photos. And I have a YouTube thumbnail. I hope this video can save you tons of time in the future creating designs and content. And if you liked today's video, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll have more short and sweet tutorials like this in the future. And thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one.